But I pressed Ben Rhodes, the president's dep deputy national security advisor, about what he would tell the families of the two journalists who have been beheaded about this controversy involving the president first saying he wants to destroy ISIS and then sort of backpedaling and saying, uh, look, uh, this is a problem that we can manage over time. Listen. How do you tell the families of James Foley and Stephen Sotloff this is a problem that can be managed? Well, what the president said was we need to degrade and destroy this organization. Uh, in the immediate term, you're not going to eradicate a terrorist organization that has taken over parts of two countries uh, without putting in place a coalition. Nonetheless, there's growing pressure on the president from Democrats, not just Republicans, to act more quickly. Elizabeth Warren, the Democratic Senator from Massachusetts, ducked a question today about whether she agrees with Dianne Feinstein, another Democrat, that the president's been too cautious. And then you've got Democrat uh, Jean Shaheen in New Hampshire facing a tough re-election against Republican Scott Brown. Uh, she basically tweeted out, I don't think that this terror threat could be managed. Instead, she said, we need to follow them to the gates of hell. That's a reference to what Vice President Biden said at an event yesterday in New Hampshire where he was more forceful uh, than the president, suggesting there may be a little split here develop developing among Democrats about whether the president is acting quickly enough, Sean.